Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we are taking a look at the Galaxy Buds Live. So welcome to my review of Samsung's weirdest looking pair of headphones, but also probably one of the coolest ones, I think. So yes, they look like a pair of beans, and that's by design. They are designed to give you a different fit and also a different type of sound altogether. Now, compared to the traditional Galaxy Buds and Galaxy Buds Plus, they look very, very different and also have a very different fit. Those were a complete full fit and that's something a lot of people like. These are a bit more, I would say, semi-open back. But the first thing you're probably going is, how do they actually fit? Well, Samsung has tutorials within the Gear app to give you the, show you the best way to use them and actually fit them into your ears. But simply, when you take them out of the case, you look at them, you can see the right and the left indicators. That's where the wings are, which you can change uh, to actually fit your ears properly. That's the top part of your uh, Galaxy Buds Live. And the bottom part is here. You just put it like so, and boom, you're done. Now the fit on these things are truly amazing like i thought they were going to fall out especially when i was working out so i was doing jump rope did it for a while no issues didn't fall out i mean it just stayed or even doing something more extensive in terms of exercise like burpees which i hate yeah i hate burpees but again with that too didn't fall out so I love the fit for these things, and I think a lot of people will like it too. But again, like I mentioned, they are an op semi open back design. I can hear myself quite well. Um, you know, there's no pass through of my voice. It's basically because there's the air vents, and also there's some space there as well to, to allow me to hear clearly. Now, when it comes to audio, what kind of audio do you get with this? I'm jumping to audio first. I usually keep that to the end because I'm really impressed with the audio of this thing. I think I would call it. It's got spacious audio, not spatial sound, but spacious. Everything feels like you're in a live concert, uh, not live as in, as in, uh, uh, it's hard to explain that terminology I'm going to use, but I would say you are in, uh, you're in a stage where everything just is, the music is flowing around you. Now to get more technical, the highs are cleaner. Uh, the mids are also well balanced on this and the lows are driven much more because you have a bass dock. And then you've also got some really solid 12 millimeter drivers tuned by AKG that have really done a good job with this. You would definitely like the sound coming off these uh, um, earbuds. And I think also those air vents really aid in just channeling the audio down into your ear more effectively. Now, I did mention they are semi-open back, that's what I'm gonna be calling them, even though Samsung doesn't call them that. And that's because when you turn on the active noise cancellation, it really doesn't do much. Yeah, honestly, it doesn't, and that's just something to take note. I wish Samsung called it something else because when you traditionally put uh, active noise cancellation on, it cuts out about 50 to 70% of the noise, depending on the manufacturer. This, on the other hand, you can still hear everything around you. Uh, and it's when you're listening to music, then that you can hear some reduction. So it's not as much and it's not um, as appealing as a lot of people like. And I'm just gonna say just one fit right there. Now, the microphones on these though are a whole different case. They are solid. Three microphones built in. You've got a VPU that detects when your jaw opens uh, so you can catch while you are actually talking. And I, I can keep describing it, but just take a listen to the microphone, especially using the Galaxy Buds live with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra to record audio. All right, so here is a voice sample of the uh, microphone on the Galaxy Buds live. And of course, I am using this with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. There's a lot of cars driving by. Uh, there is also some construction over there. And you guys will get a good idea of how it sounds. With, you know, New York noise, honking, all that stuff. Clearly, it blocks out a lot of noise. So uh, without wasting any more time, let's, uh, let's go back inside and finish up this video. Yeah, there's a reason why Samsung mentioned this in their press uh, event, because they knew how good the microphones sound. So the audio is good, the microphone is good. What about controls? Touch controls are the same, similar. You just tap, play and pause. You can skip. You can also set a specified Spotify track, um, Spotify track to actually play or playlist, if you will. Um, you can go through the applications and customize some of the things. So 
Again, your EQs can be customizable, the button functions for either the ear, earbuds that you're using. There's also a dedicated game mode to get better game frequency, using more of that scalable codec that, that Samsung calls. I gotta find out more about that. It's just a very general term they've been using here so far. Um, but the, the, the app works really well. And of course, you've got the active noise cancellation function there. Battery life, on the other hand, you're looking at six to 29 hours. Six hours if you have ANC on, you don't really need it, so eight hours with that. Uh, eight hours with ENT off, and then 29 hours altogether with the case. And I have to say, it's, it's around that, I've got closer to 30. Now, when it comes to um, charging, there's wireless charging built in the case, as you would expect. There's also USB Type-C charging, and that would give you uh, an hour of use with five minutes of charge. I think overall, these are really, really nice. They're priced at $169, about $10 more than Galaxy Buds, and they give you a totally different audio experience. Now, I am disappointed that ANC doesn't match what a lot of people would expect, but for me, audio always comes first and you're going to love it. Plus the microphone really is solid. They're a different line and a different pair with the Galaxy Buds uh, as a whole, and I think a lot of people like that. So if you have any questions or any comments, or you would like to see me compare this to something else, let me know. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.